This is Eric from It's the DJ. Today we are doing a, another page and another video in my Finish Faster series where we look at the work of other producers and we use that for like a inspiration and roadmap so we can finish our own music faster. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there and it happened to me as well. It's like I've, I'm really getting some nice ideas down but I just don't know how to finish it. So um, if you study other people's music, you can use how they did their music to have like a roadmap or an arrangement template of your for your own ideas you can just apply them to someone else's arrangement you're not copying their sounds you're just uh you're you're borrowing the structure of their music with your own original ideas anyway so today we're looking at six recent rework of um 12 by planetary assault systems the original sounds something like this Ah, it's taken too long, so we'll just uh, have to. You can you can see that on the page. Anyway, um, this is like the full on. Um, at the end, I thought about it like this: like if if the Don Draper was going for a quick lunch before he had to give a uh, a big sales pitch to a potential client or a client, and was like in and out for a power lunch, this would be like the awesome rare ribeye steak you get. Like I'm just here to have. An awesome lunch, no appetizer, no dessert, no bullshit. Uh, I need something good to eat, and then I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, right? So, so that's the kind of lunch this would be. Like, give me a Canadian club on the rocks and a rare ribeye, and that's it. And bam. So, so this track is like bam. There's not a whole lot of. Uh, it's kind of full on. It's shorter, and it's like full on from the get go. Uh, it uses a pretty simple structure. There's not a whole lot going on, but the elements that are used are all super effective. Um, if you haven't heard it. Sounds something like this. You know, there's no breakdown where the lows are removed for a while and buildups and all that stuff. It's just full on from beginning to end. And the tune finishes at just under uh, five minutes. And you've got a bunch of different sections here. Um, well... So what you're looking at is a mock arrangement that I did. These are all silent clips. There's no audio. And I, I took a lot of notes, which you can see on the page, about what's happening in each section. And then, like, if you had your own music, you could kind of line them up um, in this way as well. So don't be afraid of doing a shorter track that's more full-on and doesn't have the breakdown. If you're going to go that route, you just have to make sure that your drums are really, really hitting hard. Things are catchy. <clears throat> And everything works well. Um, so so that's that. This is not the most complicated tune in the world. There's definitely some deviations from the standard um, kind of dance techno track that has different musical elements that last anywhere from 8 to 16 bars. Uh, pattern lengths of 8 to 16 bars is really common. But in the beginning, like there's no, you know, 30, like 30 second to minute long intro. He goes right into it at bar three with his kind of signature metallic-y clank clank pot and pan kind of percussion sound that you can hear in a lot of his tracks. Um, that plays through pretty much the whole tune. And then, you know, we're, we're out. There's a conclusion in the song, last 16 bars, at like bar 145. The other thing I did for you is put together some loops that... Um, would be similar if you're going for this kind of kind of vibe you've got that boom the boom doom boom kind of um it's almost a little tribally uh on the low end
and that that's a pretty simple kick pattern that you could do with uh two you know two kicks I have machine fired up over here here's where I got my drums from that's actually the same exact kick drum sound this one is just pitched a little bit higher I just used a higher note on the keyboard it's it's both the same sample I have a little EQ going through it then some tape saturation and then a transient master where I'm where I'm pulling back on some of the sustain And that's at the group level. So think of this as a bus for both kicks. So both kicks are going to be affected by this chain of effects. Then I've got some cymbals, nothing crazy. And lastly, there's some noise. In the original, you can hear this kind of tape hiss sound in the background. So that's that. I will give you guys this file. I'm not going to give you um, the artist's work, of course. I would suggest that you support the music and go and buy a copy of that yourself. But I will give you the samples that I created. You could easily make your own edit using this stuff. You know, use them as you please. And that's it. That's what I have for you in this lesson. Uh, if you're not signed up or you're watching on YouTube or someplace, feel free to subscribe on my website. Come on over. You will get the files for this along with some other goodies. And uh, be sure you sign up and stay tuned. I send stuff like this out, you know, at least once a month or so. It's been a pretty popular series and I'm going to continue. So thanks for viewing. Enjoy. And um, would love to hear what you, how this helps you or, or what you made um, as a result of this stuff. See you.